It is gratifying that they brought us not a Brazilian version, but a car suitable for more comfortable operation in Russia. The car was insulated, an electric interior heater, windshield heating and additional air ducts to the legs of the sofa passengers were installed, a galvanized coating was applied to the roof, thereby improving the protection of the body from corrosion. The base gasoline engine was transferred to the 90-second gasoline, and the suspension was shaken up, providing it with reinforced shock absorbers and springs. The base EcoSport is equipped no better, but no worse than many crossovers. At least you won't have to pay extra for air conditioning, radio, electric windows, and mirrors. Considering that trend allows you to order an automatic, a six-speed robotic manual gearbox acts in its role, the basic version 1.62 WD at for 1,149,000 rubles already seems to be quite a sensible purchase. In principle, one could add heated front seats here for 10,000 rubles and enjoy life. However, without roof rails, fog lights in the front bumper, with stamped wheels covered with caps, the Jeep loses a lot of its charm. Worse still, you can't get more than two airbags for any money in Trent. But it was not without reason that engineers developed seven airbags for EcoSport. In particular, without a knee cushion, the driver's legs are more likely to be damaged in a frontal collision. Unfortunately, the palette of colors turned out to be poor. The body can be painted in any of four metallic colors, which costs an extra 13,500 rubles, or a free white acrylic. In a word, if you buy EcoSport not for the last money, then it should be considered from the second level version, Trend Plus. You will have to pay an extra 100,000 rubles to the cashier. But here all the above mentioned shortcomings in the design of the exterior are eliminated and there is no need to pay extra for seat heating. As a bonus, you get two zone climate control, an intelligent alarm system with volume sensors, as well as a leather wrapped steering wheel, a center armrest and a quick clear electric windshield heater that is useful in cold weather. We take. Alas, security problems are not solved in Trend Plus either. If you consider this issue important, then you will have to pay 60,000 rubles for an additional 5 pillows. This version is called Titanium. Its other trumps are a larger display above the center console, which implies the presence of the SYNC voice control system, as well as tinted windows and rear parking sensors. It turns out that the optimal, in our opinion, version 1.6 it costs 1,299,000. However, if you have an extra 90,000 rubles lying around, you can get the top version of Titanium Plus. Leather in the trim of the seats and a keyless entry system will make Ford not so much more respectable as more convenient and practical. Finally, you can buy a 2-liter car. It is sold only with manual transmission and all-wheel drive. In the Trend Plus version, they ask for 1,199,000 rubles for it, and in the top-end Titanium Plus EcoSport it is approaching an exorbitant mark of 1.5 million. Other fans of Ford managed to nickname the EcoSport Mini Dash Cooker. Despite the fact that the cars do not have a single common detail, in the style and even the proportions of the younger brother, nepotism really peeps through. Although in fact EcoSport turned out to be a car even more compact than it seems. Remove the spare tire from its stern, and it will practically fit into 4 meters. However, the backpack on the fifth door of the crossover is very suitable. Moreover, such an accessory is now less and less common. Daihatsu Tirios, little known to us, and the new Neva, the timing of the appearance of which are being pushed back further and further, turned out to be very similar to Eco. Ford, moreover, is also perhaps the tallest subcompact crossover, its height is almost 1.7 meters. Short, tall, and not at all wide, it's amazing how, with such anthropometric data, the car looks like a very well-built burly man. True, in the pursuit of style, the designers seem to have forgotten to consult with the engineers responsible for practicality. The tailgate handle is nicely camouflaged in the rear right light. Original, but you always have to get your hands dirty. The inner handle on the upholstery of this huge gate was also not taken care of. In addition, I must admit that I don't know a single SUV where a spare tire hanging outside would not cause the door to sag over time. The reason for this is not only the wheel itself but also the inevitable vibrations. There is no place for a third on the couch, the salon is frankly narrow in width, and behind a tall driver, an adult is unlikely to fit at all. Fortunately, this design predetermined a large luggage space by the standards of subcompact crossovers. Even if you do not remove the shelf in the hold, EcoSport will take away more than, for example, the Focus hatchback. The sofa is folded in parts with a vertical sandwich, 
increasing the length of the trunk by half a meter. Among the shortcomings that cannot be overlooked is a huge traumatic hood lock loop. What prevented you from making it more compact, or at least allowing the hood to open wider? In addition, despite the overall good, by the standards of micro crossovers, geometric cross-country ability, the EcoSport 4X4 has one annoying sore under the bottom. The levers of the rear multi-link suspension are separated from the earth by only 145 millimeters. The front-wheel drive versions have a beam under the stern, and it is located higher. It turns out that the less off-road 2WD version has a lower risk of damaging the suspension. Can Ford charm you with its interior? Hardly. Behind a tall driver, sit down even in Turkish style, tucking your legs under you. With the seats pushed back between the sofa and the backrest, only 10 centimeters. The trick with the movement of five EcoSport passengers in space will not fail only if three of them turn out to be extremely slender people. A front fascia that ends far in front, triangular windows in the corners of the A pillars, a high ceiling and a gear shift lever located on the tide. According to the first impressions from the driver's seat, you perceive the EcoSport more as a van than a crossover. True, in terms of ease of landing, Ford, alas, is far from the best in this part of the car. The threshold here is located a little high. And in general, ergonomics was not perfect. The block of power window buttons was placed on the armrest of the door not at hand, but shifted 10 centimeters forward, you often open the rear window instead of the driver's one. There is no box between the seats, in principle, and the narrow armrest on the right is not adjustable in height. The mirror control joystick is located on the horizontal axis. Manipulating it, the hand has to be twisted unnaturally. Thank you for making a stamping for a bottle in the door pocket, but its depth leaves much to be desired. Finally, if you choose a car with a manual gearbox, you will have to put up with the completely non-Ford long-stroke box. Of course, for an unpretentious person, all this is trifles. However, in general, they can give the impression of the EcoSport as a car that was cut in haste. And even plastic trim is cheaper than, say, Fiesta. It will be difficult for a Latin American Jeep to win the heart of someone who knows about the existence of European compact crossovers. Wide A pillars greatly interfere with the view, and where exactly the feed ends you will have to guess at all, the borders of the reserve casing are not visible to the driver, and the parking sensors are a big reinsure. A rear view camera would help, but it is not in any version. By the way, if you decide to install it yourself, position the peephole under the roof itself, as on vans. As if apologizing, the Jeep will try to please with positive features. Rustic-looking chairs have good lateral support. The USB flash drive slot is located next to the parking brake lever. The onboard computer is controlled by a convenient button on the right steering column switch. If you listened to our advice and ordered the optimal titanium, then the radio will be with the SYNC system, which understands voice commands and can read SMS. EcoSport also managed to participate in the Euro NCAP tests. In general, experts noted its good protection in all types of collisions. However, not the best protection of the driver's legs prevented the car from becoming an honor student. Engineers installed the knee airbag after these tests. Those who know how great the Fiesta drives will not let you lie, this is one of the driver's super minus. From EcoSport I expected similar hot dashes. Alas, the most powerful 2-liter version paired with the mechanics does not seem to be any sporty. High torque motor up to medium speed leaves much to be desired. It would be nice to set the first gear shorter, out of habit, you can stall at the start. And quick manipulations with the manual gearbox complicate the unexpectedly long strokes of the lever. The sixth here seems generally superfluous. Even with the partial load, a barely noticeable rise forces you to move a step or two lower. In corners, the car scares with its roll, and during starts and decelerations, it sways longitudinally. Not ideal in exchange rate stability. However, here you need to make allowances for the fact that Ford has a short base and a high body. For me, this magician fails miserably for the role of an athlete. Fortunately, the steering wheel pleases with effort and information content, even on slippery surfaces. The position of the steered wheels does not remain a mystery. And if you turn off the ESP, the reins will only loosen the traction control, and the car will allow slipping with small skid angles. Yes, and Ford swallows bumps quite painlessly, there will be no knocks in the suspension. And yet this is far from a sport, a maximum of physical education. And what was my surprise when, by definition, the sluggish EcoSport 1.6 it turns out to be a more nimble guy in the inter-traffic light races.
the robotic box eliminates the lack of torque at low speeds. She shifts gears up in time and does not stew when moving a step or two lower. She also has a sports mode. The gas pedal becomes more responsive, the box keeps the downshift longer and generally helps in every possible way to better use the potential of the motor. Loses 1.62 liters, only where you expect, at over the 100 speeds. And the main flaw of many robots, small twitches at parking speeds, has not been completely eliminated. In addition, the box turned out to be adaptive. You drive the Ford at full speed, then you decide to go smoothly, and the car will change gears with unnecessary harshness for some more time. However, only a couple of cycles of gentle starts and slowdowns are enough for the robot to adapt. Psychologically, any EcoSport sets up to turn off a flat road and go on an assault, if not slopes, then at least high curbs. On dry land, off-road exercises are well given to a car with any drive. Moreover, the 2WD version is luckier and its feed sways less. This is because such a crossover has a beam installed at the back instead of a multi-link. In addition, for WD is almost 100 weight heavier. However, only with all leading EcoSport copes with diagonal hanging. Yes, when you have to overcome deep puddles in the spring flood, you can count on some diving abilities. The air intake of the motor is located high, and if you do not start a wave, it will do without water hammer. Just remember that door seals are not designed for deep water. They only provide dust protection. The appearance of an SUV and the availability of all-wheel drive would allow the EcoSport to take its place in the flowering field of subcompact crossovers. In the Titanium 1.6 at 2WD version, it appears as a car that is well-balanced in terms of comfort, handling, safety, and overall equipment level. However, the price tag of 1,299,000 rubles sounds like a sentence for him. Having laid out that kind of money, it will be especially difficult to put up with mediocre dynamics, a cramped sofa, a rustic interior by modern standards and not the best cross-country ability in the class.